This is how Dale part the deal then. It wasn't like that. Anyway. Just go, eh? I don't need you. Nobody does. Hysterectomy, me. It's such a big decision. I feel like I've lost track of me, Selma and Jenny. Like everything's turned upside down. My whole life, the kids, the lot. Billy went to Broad. He didn't like it. He said it was too hot. All that khaki is far too hot. You're still a young woman, me. I don't feel young. It's a mess. Mess. Complete menopause or mess. There must be something else you could try. What about the after effects? You know what they say. Hormones all over the place running riot. Billy and Belle. Billy and Belle. God. I hope I didn't grow a moustache. Why not? Your dad had one. <laughs> 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 Billion Bell. Billion Bell. A budgie's name. Billion Bell. Billion Bell. Billion Bell. <laughs> well, whatever you decide. Oh. How are you then, Bell? Bedtime. He should have stayed with you and the bands. I told him it wasn't right. It was hard for him, Belle. It was for all of them. He was proud of you. We all were. He shouldn't have let you down.
different. Aye. That's been four years. Do you want a cup of tea? Please. Becky told us about the hospital. Aye, well, might solve some problems. Aye. I remembered afterwards, years ago, when you wanted another baby. Too late for that now, eh? Let's do a combined. Family allowance and pension. What about this, uh, Roy? Well, she has been talking, hasn't she? Is he a nice man? I've not been seen him. Things never work out the way you hoped. Two or three days later, this bloke was there again, a Dewhurst, I think his name was, in a pinstripe suit and a little board and that. He was doing a motion study sort of thing. And when he looks down at it, he could see things wasn't going very well. <laughs> and they fortuitously, fortuitously, right, I got into this machine every chance I could get. And I said to this paddy bloke, I said, hey, these look pretty easy things to drive. He says, yeah, they are. Just forward, reverse, no clutch, brake, accelerator, tip the bucket. I thought, well, I, I can do that. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm a Michigan driver. <laughs> 150 quid a week, eh? Absolutely fabulous. Two coffees, please. Yeah. And Anne, you want to come out for things? Thank you, God, that's awesome. Hiya. 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 Alright. Do you want the chips? I thought the chicken factory was good money. Good money? 1.30 an hour? Anyway, she only lasted a day. She had to squeeze eggs out of a dead chicken. <laughs> <laughs> she threw a ball over the conveyor belt. <laughs> What's up with that? Really? What is it?
great to see you. And you? Do you want to... Um... I was, uh... I'm really glad you came. I suppose I wouldn't see you again. wrong? I'm sorry mate. Oh, God, thank you. It's hard to explain. But like I've kept everything locked inside for so long. Like I couldn't trust anybody anymore. Oh mate, you can trust me. when they told us I'd start the bloody menopause. It just confirmed what I felt. Everything was dying. Retrievable. And this today was just like unlocking the memory. All that pain. I'm a fear may not be anything else. about you all week, mate. Every time I saw a day, I thought it was about you. Well, I wanted to phone you. But I just didn't want to hear you say no. Cup of What the hell is that? What? You left? I didn't think. Who are you talk? Mm. <laughs> it's not them, man. It's your leg. <laughs> You're just jealous. I've got my dad's eyes and my mum's legs. <laughs> your face, a glass of wine, a fast embrace, it's called Hernando's Hideaway, ole, all you see are silhouettes, and all you hear are Captain Nets, and no one cares how late it gets, not at Hernando's Hideaway, ole. The golden finger bowl or any place you go. That is it. Your uncle Max and everyone you know.
But if you are sitting close and making love to me, you may take my heart, you may take my soul, but not Ooh. my <laughs> I can't believe I've done it. Do you know, this is the first time without the kids since before Dale was born. <laughs> Shall I go back for them? Twenty quid in summer. Twenty quid from your favourite sister? No thanks. Go on man, buy yourself a treat. I'm not in the mood. Is it me mum and Roy? It's only a weekend, man, Betty. It's just a bit of fun. A dirty weekend, you mean? And him, after all she said. So much for bloody high-minded principles. One sniff of his bank balance and she's off. And that's me more, Betty, but she is human, you know. And Tracy's pregnant. She wouldn't say who the father is. If me mum and Roy stay together, will we have to leave here? It might not be such a bad idea. But what about me dad? He left us. I didn't want him to leave. You should have told him. You should have known. weekend. Bloody business plan. But the boss calls his leisure initiative scheme. Uh, maybe that should go. Hey, uh, just you try. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, posh, isn't it? Posh? You need a degree in French to order a glass of water. <laughs> The egg and chips, done a bottle of Newcastle Brown for the lady, <laughs> and, uh, and I'll have the pate and so. And um, would you like sauce with your chips, madame? <laughs> Each <please? laughs> No, we'll pay by cash. <laughs> <laughs> well, no starter for me. I'll have the Gigot d'Amour, Pomme Lyonnaise, et Haricot Vert, s'il vous plaît. Merci. <laughs> <Get you. laughs> 
Sure, she had no money worries. Different with Janie. She didn't want kids. I met her when I was still married to Doreen. Yeah, we had a few good years. It's a lot like Dan or sort of weird. I never had met it, mind. Like music. Ever since he was really little, I had this weird talent for music. Pretty really. I stopped playing when Tony left. Aphrodisiac, please. Who needs them? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna eat that salad? I get off. Good for you. Good for your bowels. Mate, I'm talking aphrodisiac and you're talking bowel movements. <laughs> what about your kids? Talents. You know. Never see them. Occasional phone call, that's about it. There's one thing I regret though. I was Sean, the youngest. <laughs> I get this feeling of guilt. It was all for his dad, mate. 
<laughs> It'll be everywhere.